Hey everyone, it's Mike, and today let's talk about generation issues. Now, the other day I was going through and checking out uh, some new uh, vegan channels on YouTube, and um, one of the ones I ran across was from Compassionate Living, and I was watching her uh, video. Um, for new subscribers for her channel to kind of bring people in. And uh, something occurred to me when I was listening to her talk. And it's this idea of if we, people that have seen like Forks Over Knives or done the research or are in the, in the lifestyle, if we understand uh, the dramatic impact that am animal agriculture is having, all the negatives, I mean, it's crazy how, how bad it is for us. Okay, so so we understand that. Why do um, the older generations, um, predominantly your parents or your parents' parents or your grandparents, um, why do they seem resistant to your discussions about veganism? And I wonder if it's because for them, when they hear animal agriculture, do they really understand what that means? I was thinking that for, for us, we know animal agriculture um, is a big, massive engine that's running all over the world as the world tries to be the same as, um, you know, the Western diet people, right? We like to eat meat. It ended up on our TV shows. It ended up showing up in our newspapers and our magazines. And then so other people decide they want to eat meat. And then other people decide they want to eat meat. And it keeps growing. I mean, we keep eating more and more meat. Um, it's becoming more and more processed. Uh, and the industry has just grown so big around it that it's become an unthinking machine. It's just eating and eating and eating and burning through resources and destroying the environment and using all of our water and using all of our grains. But for people that were around in the, um, maybe they grew up in the 50s or they worked a farm in the 50s. Um, you know, they grew up in the 30s and may have worked on a farm in the 30s. Um, to them, animal agriculture just means, you know, of uh, uh, Joe's farm down the road, you know, and his hundred head of cattle that he's taking care of himself. Um, they're not understanding how the world is twisting our way of doing things, right? Um, South America is being destroyed. Uh, the rainforests are being destroyed. Um, and the majority of why it's happening is because of animal agriculture. We're trying to find more places to put animals so that we can kill them. Um, we're trying to find more places to put the grain that we feed to the animals that we then kill. It's so how do we so how do we reach these people? How do we get them to understand? I'm not sure. Um, a lot of times they're the most resistant to seeing things like the, the movie Cowspiracy or Earthlings or um, Forks Over Knives. Um, how do we get them to understand that what's going on now is different than what they think it is? Um, and that it impacts our world uh, much greater than what, um, what they think think it did um, they may not you know we can throw out numbers um, and they'll they'll be like ah that's just what people say right they're they don't they don't see the reality of those numbers because their point of view their 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 point of reference is how it was in the 30s and how it was in the 50s um, so what do we do well, I think we keep giving the message, you know, we keep talking about it, 
Um, and we keep letting these people know um, that um, whatever you know is what you know. And that's not a bad thing if you don't know what's going on now. But educate yourself. Um, realize that the world's moved on since those times when you thought it was just um, Sally and Jim's farm down the road with their 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 you know small plot of land and stuff. Um, it's so much bigger than that now, and it's really just destroying our planet. Um, and the massive death that's wrapped around it, just the masses and masses of animals being killed and slaughtered and raised in these terrible conditions. It's, it's so dehumanizing. Um, we're just, we've gone the wrong way. Um, and unless we change how we're, the way we're moving forward with um, animal products, unless we change uh, pretty, pretty soon, um, we're not gonna be able to fix it. We need to stop the death and destruction. Um, and we need other people to recognize that that needs to happen. The only way we're gonna be able to have any meaningful long-term change is once um, the majority of the population of this world recognize that reducing their intake of animal products is critical. Uh, stopping is the best. Until that happens, um, it's going to be hard to say. To, to until that happens, it's going to be hard for us to uh, really make an impact. But that doesn't mean we won't stop trying. The the goal right now is to convince people um, that it's the right thing to do, right? The right thing to do for animals, the right thing to do for the environment, and the right thing to do for themselves and their family. So that's really kind of my goal um, for this coming year is going to be um, at least make some videos that work towards uh, convincing people that there's a better way, um, either through showing them better ways or, or restating uh, the facts that we know them of why they need this, why, why there's a good reason to find the better way. Please click on like if you like this video, uh, if you agree that we need to do some more. Um, subscribe if you want to keep up with my uh, messages coming forward. And thank you again so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. I really enjoyed checking out uh, some of the new uh, YouTubers out there. Um, uh, speaking the vegan message. Um, yeah. Thanks again. Bye.